It's Diana Ross and I'm coming out. It's BBC Radio Gloucestershire, 12 minutes past two on your Friday afternoon. Now, Dean Close Pre-Prep School launches its exciting new I'm a Bookworm reading scheme to help create a love of reading from the early years. I Am Bookworm is designed to make reading irresistible, not only when children start nursery, but create a love of books from a very early age, beginning with parents at home. And I'm very pleased to say that Dr Carolyn Shelley is the head mistress of the pre-prep school and joins us in the studio now good afternoon to you good afternoon thanks for having me we're privileged having a head teacher within the school day come on 10 past two (laughs) this is great (laughs) you'll be able to get back for three o'clock i'm sure but definitely this is wonderful thank you very much for coming in tell us the details about the scheme then what is it well really um whenever we talk to children about reading and their uh, great love of reading we we say, oh, you're a real bookworm, and they absolutely love the term. So we thought that actually launching this um, I'm a bookworm scheme would really underpin that sense of fun and excitement. And um, the idea really is to go alongside our reading scheme, but to encourage and enthuse children. So they all have an I am a bookworm sheet, and we stick on stickers when they've read, read a book. And so the idea is just to encourage them to read more, read widely, and to be excited about books. And this is for the littlest, this is the three to seven year olds, so some of them won't be able to read those. No, some of them won't be able to read and obviously at the early age we encourage storytelling from pictures getting all the narrative vocabulary but that to them is reading and it will still be worth a sticker of course. So they will be able to stick stickers on their bookworm and that will encourage them to look at different types of books and get all those pre-reading skills in place. So is this opened out to, to to all children or just those at Dean Close? Well, it's it's opened out to our Dean Close pre-prep children, but we are um, obviously going to be at the Literature Festival and talking about I'm a Bookworm. And so, you know, if we encourage others to read uh, through doing this, then I'm very happy because I'm passionate about reading. Yeah, tell us about your link with the Literature Festival and what's happening tomorrow. Well, um, it's such a privilege to be able to um, help sponsor some of the events at the Literature Festival. Tomorrow we are at two events in the Little Big Top. We're sponsoring um, a Tiger Who Came to Tea event, that fantastic classic children's book. Um, There'll be a reading and lots of fun events to go along with it. Um, And that one is at 11.30. And then at 4.15, we are sponsoring a Charlie and Lola reading with Lauren Child, who is the author. So that's very exciting. Celebrating 15 years on. Exactly. uh... And during the whole... um, of the Literature Festival, we are at um, the Discovery Trail, which encourages children to find out facts about different books. And uh, we run a little competition. They can win signed copies of the books that uh, the Tiger Came to Tea and Charlie and Lola. So. Oh, nice. Uh, why do you think these reading schemes are needed? Because there'll be people listening who say, well, you know, I read with my children, you know, everything's fine. We don't need a scheme. Well, fantastic. If they read with their children, that's absolutely brilliant and the best thing they can do. But we find anything which encourages children even more to read is is a good thing. And so um, it's really in tandem for those children who um, love reading and will always read at every opportunity, but also for those who are perhaps slightly more reluctant. And we want them to enter that exciting and wonderful world. Um, And really to find books that they love, that's the key, I think for them what tips have you got for parents because essentially it's how excited we are as adults about books that then gets passed on to children isn't it it is I I think it's so important I think as adults if we love reading children will see that too Um, but even if um, at home you don't feel you have an awful lot of time just a few minutes every day spending time with your children letting them read to you you read to them is so important so one of my tips is to find a special time every day to do that with your child Um, and that will make a big difference to them and how they develop and also I think it's important that they and and there are going to be parents now who are going okay we've not got time for this but it's important for the children to see you as an adult enjoying a book or a newspaper or a magazine or whatever it is Uh, not just having that special time but them seeing you read for pleasure 
Very true. And I think that's something we quite often forget because as parents wanting to support children in school, we always read with them. But actually for children to see that it's important and it matters to us is is so essential. So that's my number two tip, actually, oh, to let your child see you reading and to see you enjoy what you're reading. It, it doesn't have to be a book. It can be on your uh, book reader, on your iPad, on anything. But to see that you're reading and you're enjoying it and you love reading yeah. is a real encouragement to them too. What about which books to choose? What about, you know, do we take them to the library and say, right, free reign, go and pick what you want, and then they might pick something that's not really appropriate? Uh, I think um, I think definitely go to the library. That is absolutely brilliant because allowing them to pick any book that they really feel they want to read is also important. And at a library, you can sample so many different types of books that perhaps you wouldn't naturally have at home. And And, yes, some books won't be so good for them but they will only know that by trying them out and so will you so I think Mm. finding finding what they love is the key and sometimes you'll find some children just love non-fiction books and that's what they want to do all the time and then of course you'll want to sort of balance it with a bit of fiction but to get them enjoying first that's the most important thing for them what other tips have you got for us please okay well one of my tips um is to have fun when you're reading books together and to do other things around the story so you can you know make up silly voices take it in turns to read a bit when you know a book really well you can act it out at home all those sorts of things children will love that and it all also really does develop their comprehension of story their narrative fiction very important for later life when taking those important exams so and 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 just making up different voices for characters it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to put on a wonderful accent just doing another voice than your normal one kids love that yes they really love it and of course at school that's one of the great things about being a teacher you can make up lots of funny voices (laughs) and the children love it but do that at home as well um it's something that they'll remember our children now who are much older and grown up, you know, always say, oh, we remember when you read The Tiger Who Came to Tea and you made the tiger speak in a growly voice or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think, when I read Funny Bones... Um, my the, the dad of the funny bones has to be Scottish uh, reason being <laughs> Doctor Who had just come back onto our screens I think it was last year when I got the book so I was thinking of the, the yes. Doctor yeah. Yeah. some more tips then please have you got any more for us? Uh, well I would say um, as they get you know launched into reading um, discuss the stories together and ask questions um, but obviously as the children get older there are tests which come to play when they're a bit older perhaps uh, uh, older than pre-prep obviously but to say questions where they're really using their critical thinking skills what do you think will happen next why do you think they said that or why did they feel that those are the all important uh, questions to really develop the thinking skills I like another one of your tips, which is just read wherever you are, whether it's at the doctor's surgery, a signpost in town, it doesn't matter. No. Because you can't help but read. Once you've got the the skills to read, you can't help but read when you see a word. Exactly. And and you've all been with children, I'm sure, where they'll suddenly say... (gasps) I know what that sign says. It says exit. And you say, wow, that's amazing. Or, you know, I can see that says eat. And, you know, just simple words. The children love it and they love to demonstrate that they can read at any opportunity. So it's it's creating a sense of achievement and success for the children that's a real springboard. And that's what this scheme is all about, really, celebrating successes. Carolyn, thank you very much for coming in today. If people want a little bit more information, it's a case of turn up tomorrow. At the yes, Literature come Festival. tomorrow to um, our events at um, at the Little Big Top, but also come to our Dean Close tent where we will very happily give you the top 10 tips and discuss them with you. Um, we'd love to share them. Thank you very much. That's Dr Carolyn Shelley, headmistress of the pre-prep school at Dean Close. Mm-hmm.